Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a very quick little slides show on accreditation and regulatory agencies, and then we'll be finished for the presentations for this week. Okay, there are many different types of accreditation. There's institutional accreditation, which is the comprehensive review of the entire functioning and effectiveness of the full college, university, technical college, whatever the entity may be. Then there's program or specialized accreditation, which would include like your nursing, your schools of education departments, you know, your engineering schools, your law schools, your social work schools, and even they are further broken down into the specialty areas of as far as um, master's programs versus bachelor's programs versus um, like if it was education, elementary education or higher education, engineering could be civil engineering or constructional engineering or whatever other kind of engineering they have. So that would be kind of what that would entail. And of course there's regulatory agencies. There are many, many more types of um, accrediting bodies. One of the big ones for nursing is the voluntary accreditation, which is performed by peer member institutions or programs. And some of those examples would be the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education and the Accrediting Commission of Education and Nursing, which was formerly the National League of Nursing Accrediting Commission. And the schools in nursing either would have one of these accreditors um, to really signify that they have a quality nursing program. Then there's national accreditation, which is CCNE and ACN are both nationally recognized, but they're an accrediting agency that does work throughout the nation. And then there's regional, which is separated geographically, you know, like the Higher Learning Commission is an example of that. And then there's state regulatory um, visits, which would be your state boards of nursing that would come in. The purpose of accreditation is really a lot because many times if you're not an accredited program, really students shouldn't really bother applying to your institution because if they're not from an accredited institution, it can affect the further employment, their further education. So the purpose is to really ensure that there's at least a minimum standard that is met. Of course, most institutions are going to strive for higher standards. It provides recognition for funding and student financial aid, and that's a really big one because the government does not like to give federal financing to a school that is not accredited. It ensures consistency and quality and allows for that self-regulation and peer evaluation that is so important. Um, formative and summative evaluation is done so they're able to, you know, look what progress is being made and continue to make progress. And of course, at one point, a decision has to be made about the progress that is made and whether it really is truly is meeting standards. So there's many, um, you know, areas that do go into, you know, that process. The important thing, you know, to realize about nursing accreditation is that it's continuously looking that there is a program of quality control, like a continuous quality improvement plan, you know, or some kind of um, program of that, that things are consistently being looked at on a regular basis to really check and make sure that, you know, all your checks and balances are there and that if any problems are recognized that it will be, you know, taken care of. So again, just, you know, the National League of N Nursing Associ Accrediting Center is now the ACEN, which is the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing. This accredits all types of nursing programs from diploma to LPN programs to, um, associate's degree program in BSN and master's degrees and they are um, also now accrediting doctor of nursing practice programs and I put their website out there so you can go on and read their standards and um, when you take the assessment course if you've already taken it this will be involved we'll talk a lot more about it the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education is one that only does the um, higher education so BSN degrees and up it has the essential series that they can follow as their guidelines and their the list is also provided there for you. Another thing I just want to bring up about accreditation, and then this will be the last slide, is that it really is a, pro a 
a way for any kind of program to do a good self-study and see what their strengths and weaknesses are and make plans of actions, you know, root cause analysis to further, you know, follow up and improve and make sure they are meeting standards. The, you know, creditors can give you a 10-year accreditation, which means you just have to write, you know, follow-up reports, but they don't actually come for a site visit for 10 years. Sometimes they'll come back in five years. If you're on probation, they can come back in two years. You know, they really do, you know, vet according to what's happening, how quickly changes are occurring in the profession and in the what methods that are being used. But it's a very costly pro process because you actually have to pay them for the accreditation and also the time it takes to give faculty time to write these self-studies and you know prepare the reports is another really big consideration. I will right, we'll do more of that in the assessment course.